from the word for reading. And if you think about it in a time when books were very expensive, even somebody who was a scholar might only have access to a text if they heard somebody else read it aloud. So I am I'm going to lecture to you, and I'm going to do this in the authentic style, which means dead languages. <laughs> um, and so, just so you should be aware, there's a fair amount of poetry in here, and the way Greek and Latin poetry work is by the rhythm, by how long a syllable lasts, rather than by rhyme. So just listen for the rhythm and maybe the exciting bits, and then we'll go back and do the less authentic thing and go through this in English so you can find out what happened. Quis est Aeneas? Vergilius dixit quod pius Aeneas est. Aeneas viator est et dux hominum, multa litora per agravat, urbem Romae condendi causa. Audite verba dicta sociis. O socii nequenem ignari sumus ante melorum, o passi graviora. David Deus his quaqua fina. Vos et scilaeum rabiam penitus quesonantis. Acestis scopulus, vos et ciclopia saxa experti. Revocate animos, maestum matimora mitite. Forsan et haec olim meminisse juavit. Per varios casus, per tot discriminarerum tendimus in latium. Sedes ubi fata quiatas ostendent, illi fas regnare surgere turae, durat et vos met rebus servate secundis. In Libro Quinto Iliatus, Homerus dixit qua Aeneas heros est et filias deae amoris, panorum sociorum tuitis est, et si in magna pericula. Aeneas da Peruse sun aspide dure temacro, de sas me pos hoi erusiato nefranacaio. Amphidar auto by ne leon hos alke perpoethos, prasta de hoi doro, tescacae aspida pantos eesin, tonc tamenae memos, hos tis tu gantios elthoi, smerdeleadia com. Hodet kermadion, Lava cave tu deidis, mega ergon ha duo gandre feroian, poioi nun rotae sues, hodem min rea pale caioios, to balen aineo, cat ischian entha temeros ischio enstrechai, cotulein de temin caleusi. Flasa de hoi cotulein, pros danfo creg se tenante, O se da ho finan trecus lithos, autar hoc eheros, este nux eripon cae eriseto, cae ripacee, gaeis, amphida o se culaine nux e colupse. Cae nu can, entha poloitu anaps andron aeneas, e me ar oxu noese dios dugater aphrodite, me ter, Hemi in up an hisse teca bucolion. Amphideon pulon, qui an echoatu peke leoco, prosta de hoi tabloio faenu, stup macalupse. Ercos emen beleon, metis danaon tacupulum, calcan eni se thessi, balon et thuman calorito. Aeneas difficilem cursum tenet, Procter amorum sociorum et patriae. Who is Aeneas? Virgil said that Aeneas is pious. Aeneas is a traveler and a leader of men. He wandered many shores for the sake of founding the city of Rome. Hear now the words he spoke to his comrades. Comrades, we have known evils before, endured harder. God will end this also. Scylla's rage and the crashing crags, you made it past. You survived the Cyclops' rocks. Call up your spirits, lay down your anxious gloom. Someday even this may be good to remember. Through different misfortunes, through every division, we reached toward Latium, where the fates hold out a quiet sea. There, the kingdom of Troy must grow again. Endure and save yourselves for second chances. In the fifth book of Iliad, 
Homer said that Aeneas is a hero and the son of the goddess of love. Even in great danger, he watched over his comrade's honor. Then Aeneas leapt down with his shield and his great spear, afraid that somehow the Achaeans would drag off the corpse. He was prowling about like a lion, trusting its strength, and near the body he held up his spear and his well-fitting shield, straining to kill whoever dared to advance, and shouting terribly. But the other man lifted a rock, that son of Tidius, such a massive rock that two men could not shift it, as mortal men are now. Still, he swung it up easily and alone, and threw it at the hip of Aeneas, just where the thigh turns into the hip, which is called the socket. He crushed that socket, and also he smashed both tendons, and the jagged rock sliced through the skin. Yet the hero staggered, leaning on his knee, and raised himself with his strong hand from the ground. Black night veiled both his eyes. Then he would have died there, Aeneas, lord of men, if Aphrodite, daughter of Zeus, had not sent this keenly. Aphrodite, his mother, who lay with Anchises, herding cattle. Around her son she threw her shining arms, and taking a fold of her shimmering robe, she veiled him making a wall against arrows so none of the swift-mounted dead hands slinging bronze through toward his breast could strike his heart. Aeneas held to his difficult path because he loved his comrades and his country.